Two decades ago, the Hobie team amazed the fishing kayak community with the Mirage Drive pedal system. Its enduring success has made Hobie the leader in the pedal kayak market. What makes Mirage Drive stand out, though? The feature is its unique fins that allow movement in all directions, even sideways, and enable quick kayak position adjustments when biting. These flexible fins also ensure safe maneuvering in shallow waters without the risk of damage. However, these advanced features come at a price. A Mirage Pro Angler 14 kayak equipped with this system will set you back $4,700. With 40 million blind people and only 28,000 guide dogs, the scale of the problem Dot Lumen is tackling is evident. They're developing glasses that, like guide dogs, respond to voice commands. However, instead of a four-legged assistant pulling the leash, these glasses rely on sound and tactile communication. In essence, they're taking technology from the autonomous driving field and adapting it into a compact, wearable device. Their work is gaining momentum. For instance, Dot Lumen's machine learning model for recognizing pedestrians is considered the best in the world and has been tested in over 20 countries. The company has even received a MedTech award for its efforts, which is like an Oscar in the high-tech world. Clinical trials for the glasses are scheduled for the second half of this year. Team Tennis is both a vibrant piece of installation art and a playground. Initially showcased in Sweden, it has since journeyed to Hungary. Similar to the well-known Pong in rules, Kick It Team Tennis emphasizes teamwork, with two teams of five players each. The game progressively speeds up, and the balls can unpredictably shift positions. The outcome is entertainment enjoyable for both kids and adults, which perhaps serves as the ultimate praise for its designers. Today's selection is all about innovation, so let's explore Maiku shoes. At first glance, they might not seem particularly cool, but wait until you hear about the eight vibration motors in each shoe. These motors target eight points on your foot, giving a relaxing massage, making even a long stroll in Maikud shoes enjoyable. Plus, each shoe's vibration motors hold a charge for up to eight hours. Users can customize the massage intensity with a free smartphone app. Maikud shoes aren't just for fun, they're practical too, perfect for people who spend all day on their feet. Priced at $119, each pair comes with an extra set of bamboo-lined insoles, a charger, and a pair of carry bags. Imagine that you're strolling through the woods and suddenly a robot comes charging towards you. Don't worry, it's just the folks from the Chinese company Limex Dynamics testing their biped robot P1. It's more likely running away from them than at you. After all, who wants to get whacked with a stick, even in the name of technological advancement? Want to know the test results so far? Well, no one bothered to ask the robot, but the Chinese engineers seem satisfied. Despite finding itself in unfamiliar terrain and rough conditions, the biped robot P1 adapted remarkably well, thanks to reinforcement learning techniques used to train its AI algorithms. It even responded appropriately to the external stimuli like bumps and sticks. The obvious application for the biped robot P1 is search and rescue missions, but what else do you think it could do? Being a wizard has its perks, like flying on a Nimbus 2000 broom at high speeds. But muggles have their own tricks up their sleeves. 
The Nimbus 1 electric trike offers speeds of up to 80 km per hour and a decent range of 150 km on a full battery. Plus, you can recharge the bike from a regular household outlet in about 5 hours. Yes, it's a single-seater, but on the other hand, it comes equipped with airbags, ABS, ADAS and artificial intelligence to prevent collisions. And let's not forget its patented stabilization technology, ensuring a smoother ride than balancing on a broomstick. The price for a Nimbus 1 starts at 9,980 galleons. Oops, I mean, uh, dollars. Ditto is such a simple and practical innovation that it's surprising we haven't discussed it in our videos earlier. It's a sewing pattern projector that eliminates the need for paper patterns. Now, they are created in a special program and projected directly onto the fabric. Goodbye to paper, chalk and pins. Additionally, you don't have to start from scratch thanks to Ditto's monthly updated online library featuring various clothing designs. You won't need much workspace either, just a 94 by 63.5 cm area and a ceiling height of at least 2.3 meters. Using Ditto compresses hours into minutes, say the creators, who are offering it for $299. Apart from the media chair and some robotic companions, LG engineers also make everyday items that fit right into your home. Take the stylus shoe case, for example. These square boxes let you store, dry, refresh and display your shoes in a stylish manner. LG came up with the idea for the stylus shoe case after conducting research that revealed young people's fondness for collecting limited edition shoes. These cases protect your shoes from UV light, keep them looking pristine thanks to the True Steam technology, and maintain freshness with Zeo Dry filters. You can arrange the drawers in columns of four and even illuminate them for an added dramatic effect. It's like having your own shoe museum at home. The Alteros Super Tower marks the world's debut of a commercial communications tower in aerostat form. The ST300 model reaches heights of 610 meters and can carry payloads of up to 300 kilograms. This payload capacity allows for the installation of modules for deploying 4G and 5G networks, enabling communication within a 40 kilometer radius. Typically, the ST300 operates autonomously but manual remote control is also available. The creators are open to custom orders and can successfully tailor the aerostat to suit individual client needs. A testament to this is the $99 million contract secured last year with major clients, including the US Department of Homeland Security. Abu Dhabi, Las Vegas, Singapore and several other cities have taken the right path towards the future. They're actively testing smart electric buses known as We Ride Robo Bus. These buses operate without drivers, thanks to their creators' focus on Level 4 autonomous driving technologies. For comparison, the Tesla Model S only has Level 2 autonomy. Even in busy city traffic, each bus confidently identifies traffic signals, signs, markings, pedestrians and other vehicles. With space for up to 10 passengers, it can travel about 300 kilometers and reach speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. We Ride Robobus offers a highly relevant solution for Singapore, where around 30% of public transportation workers are over 50 years old. The Equipta 7000 combines features of a boom lift, a dump truck, and a trailer, which may sound unusual, but it is effective. 
Just see how much easier it makes life for roofers. And that's just one application. The boom can lift the body up to 7.7 meters. And if tilted, it's even simpler to unload materials or dump debris. Thanks to its lifting capacity of up to 1,814 kilograms, it's impressively strong. You can operate the Equipta 7000 remotely from a distance of up to 30 meters, even from the roof if needed. Along with the 40 horsepower engine and added supports for stability, it's a complete package. Plus, since the body's removable, it can transform into a forklift. Early buyers can expect delivery of this machine next year. The regular wheels on irrigation systems can sink 36 centimeters into the ground, causing work to come to a halt. Trying to free them without an ATV can be quite a challenge. On the other hand, the wheels of the Shark Wheel Swift keep on spinning, sinking only 2.5 cm into the ground. This sets a new standard for circular irrigation systems, and all it took was adding special blades. As the wheels turn, they flex to increase their surface area. The design of the Shark Wheel Swift is modular and so simple that repairs often take just 60 seconds. Plus, you can say goodbye to dealing with pumps, as these wheels are airless. Overall, the creators have every reason to be proud, not to mention the three grants they've received from the US National Science Foundation. The ocean is also a place full of innovations. First up, we have the Aquabotics Integra Hybrid, capable of both autonomous and operator-controlled procedures. The standard model can dive to 100 meters, run up to 8 hours on a full battery, and carry payloads of up to 2.3 kilograms, like sonars or Wi-Fi modules. In summary, it's a versatile choice for various customers, from oceanographers to law enforcement. But the EcoSub Robotics team also has something to offer. They produce these autonomous workers, known for their simplicity. All you need is a laptop and an underwater modem. Planning the route is as easy as seeing it on the screen and clicking. Depending on the model, the EcoSub Robotics creations can dive up to 2.5 kilometers deep and carry various equipment, from pH sensors to locators. Last year, global trade surpassed $24 trillion. And for this and the next year, it's expected to grow by almost 6% in total. Analysts are confident about this, and it's got us thinking about the warehouses of the future. Did you know that Amazon is already employing robots in theirs? But this kind of optimization isn't just for the big players. Allow us to introduce the automated PO complex. It occupies a modest 46 square meters and can pick and pack up to 360 orders every hour. Simply input an item catalog number and the robots within PO will fetch the right products. They work five times faster and more accurately than humans. With just six robots, PO can handle those 360 orders per hour. But it's not quite time for warehouse staff to start worrying. A single PO complex starts at $86,000. There are three things that you can watch forever. Fire burning, water flowing, and the electricity prices rising. Speaking of which, you can cover up to 80% of your hot water needs with just one investment. Simply install these heating systems with solar panels, and your electricity or gas bills will see a significant drop. A typical GMO heater can heat water up to 62 degrees Celsius, perfect for washing dishes and taking comfortable showers. It comes with overheating protection and an anode rod to prevent corrosion. 
For a 300-liter model, you'll have to pay around $1,000. The MSKB brush wraps up today's lineup. It's designed for cleaning railways, especially for dealing with ballast, a loose material that helps distribute pressure from the sleepers. The brush comes in various widths, ranging from 1 to 1.6 meters. It's compatible with other equipment and comes with a rubber scraper.